feeling in men's clothes for fall is strongly evident in the newest slacks and shirts. Checks and flannel are a classic combo. Levi's Wildfire adds two-button flat pocket styling for oomph. A super soft turtle with Glen Oak Scott plaid pants says autumn all the way. Two examples of the season's classiest easy-go fashion pairing. Not a ringer in the crowd. Almost. Earth and ivy tones dominate the palette of color choices for this year's tops and bottoms. This new Jacquard striped sweater shirt of Orlon by Lord Jeff is tailored to a tee. His buddy's rich natural look check slacks by Glen Oaks are a blend of today's daquan and wool. Two easy, elegant ways to go for autumn. Rich, lofty plaids are the fashion story this season for those who want to step up in style. The bold window pane pattern is an idea for the adventuresome. It will buy for favor with more conservative models like this authentic Glen. Both slacks by Hager in a no-fuss, no-muss pairing of polyester and wool. The woodsy weekend wardrobe goes natural this fall, with an assist from man-made fibers. These woolly slacks by Lord Jeff and Wildfire are in fabric blends with Dacron and Orlon. The plaid flannel topper and the mini check country shirt are both by Eagle. Colorful, casual, easy care fashion for the fall winter season. Picturesque Peggy's Cove on the rugged coast of Nova Scotia. A fitting background for the new rugged looks in menswear. A Nordic design adds detail interest to Lord Jeff's shawl collar cardigan. Jansen's Fisherman's Knit is right at home in this quaint village. A classic knit turtleneck turns into an airy sweater shirt with a quick flip of a zip. It's by Isa. Winter motifs are back this year. Reindeer romp in this colorful, comfortable crew neck pullover. Here, snowflakes are the story in a collared cable knit with crossover placket. Both are by Jansen in soft, lightweight, wind tuck yarns. Bright and white tones sail into view as a fashion detail on the newest knits. Attractive arm accents and sleek striped effects like these are standout examples. Hot looks for cool weather wear. Racing down the snowy slopes or Saturday shopping at the mall, ski style sweaters are bolder and better than ever this season. Styles range from striped V-neck models for the dedicated downhiller to pullovers with bands of brilliant color, both in Orlon by Lord Jeff. Here in Halifax, the famous ferry symbolizes the nautical heritage of our maritime neighbor to the north. These classic V-neck sweater and shirt combos by Izod symbolize a fashion look long favored by American men. Comfortable, easy care knitwear. Today, Go West, young man, has real fashion meaning as the trend toward cowboy gear continues. Panatello's whipcord jeans with slash pockets are paired with a snappy snap-button plaid shirt with flat pockets. 
fancy yoke detail highlights Hathaway's model. Two super looks for Saturday night promenading. Levi's new action slacks offer comfort with a capital C. A welcome change from the torture of too tight pants. But even snug jeans like this feel fine with a little lycra. The fashionable raglan sleeve shirt is by Damon. Today, fashion means style and comfort by Calvin Klein's new corduroy lycra jeans. Inverted pleat pocket and contrast collar are styling features on this shirt by Excello. This striped model has a solid collar and racy slash pocket. The brushed chocolate jeans are by Oscar de la Renta. Active wear continues to be a hot item as we enter the 80s. Fashion and function mesh neatly in this airy shirt of Antron with matching speed shorts. His teammate's tritone top has a snap button placket and corded sleeves. Both are from Jockey International for today's Man in Motion. Racquetball remains the rage this season. Jockey's V-neck pullover of Orlon keeps our combatant cool looking before the heat of battle. On the court, his colorful coordinates take all the punishment she can dish out. Pedal power advocates favor fashions that combine style and function. This biker brightens things up in textured Dacron warm-ups and a cross-stripe V-neck knit. Cycling in the rain is no problem in this lightweight outfit of nylon taffeta. Both are by jockey. Pre-winter walks on cool weekends call for comfortable, casual wear. The sweater, shirt, and action shorts shown here are by Izod. They're the perfect partners for raking up those autumn leaves or just lazing around at lakeside. When winter does settle in for good, a handsome warmer like Glen Eagle's drawstring greatcoat can come in mighty handy. This style has fur-trimmed hood with a plaid lining. And when there's ice in the harbor and snow on the peaks, the best of the new rugged looks come on strong. These beefy styles by Mighty Mac are in colorful, lightweight DuPont nylon. They're tough enough to withstand the wildest weather and fashion right for the decade ahead. San Diego to San Francisco, New Orleans to right here in Nova Scotia, it's time to greet the arrival of a new era in men's fashion, the dress-up decade. For the 80s, we'll see classics like Trapping's two-button patch pocket slimline suit, or this vested model in a new heather tone fabric of today's Dacron. Both will keep on the go businessmen neat and natty all day long. Italia favors salt and pepper looks for a dash of styling spice this season. The cream suit has special pockets, leather buttons, and a corded shoulder that goes all the way around to a vented back. The cocoa style has flecks of autumn colors and a new inverted back pleat with shoulder detailing that's worth turning around to see. The western influence is seen in Panatello's corded saddle suit with pocket darts. Bolo with silver clasp gives this city cowboy a look that's right for local roundups or long distance dressing. Town and country looks have never looked better than this season. Botany 500's beefy blue herringbone and Cartier's stylized striped and flecked model with rakish collar tab are both in the classic blend of Dacron and wool. Winter lights. Cool weather clothes that look like wool without the weight. 
Superb tailoring highlights Christian Dior's Santone spare coat. Hart Schaffner and Marks uses a toffee tweed fabric to style this two-piece suit with suede elbow patches. Comfortable, easy care fashions such as these make men's clothing an excellent value for today's contemporary businessman. Dress up and double breasted go together in the most masculine manner. The royal blue blazer by trappings has old silver buttons for a neat new look. The Tweety Houndstooth check by Cricketeer would be welcome in any man's wardrobe. Both styles an unflappable Dacron wool. Classic lines characterize designer looks this season. The beige basket weave style by Oscar de la Renta and Jeffrey Bean's burgundy blazer both have slim lapels for a new tapered silhouette. The art of fashion in sport coats for the 80s. When the cold winter wind comes whipping round the corner, there's nothing like the feel of a fur-like collar to keep you warm. Glen Eagle's classy great coat is fashioned to fend off the worst of winter's weather. The most elegant expression of men's fashion is formal wear. This season, Bill Blast brings back the Shaw collar, while After Six dresses up an already dressy silhouette with wing collar and wine bow. The essence of good taste in classic Dacron wool. The dress-up trend for the next decade will by no means be restricted to streetwear. Shawl collar and waist sash highlight this lounging outfit by Christian Dior. Business before breakfast is unusually fashionable if you're wearing this neatly engineered robe of silky ultressa by Diplomat. The paisley style is worn over John White's pale blue PJs with a new iridescent look. Dress shirts and slacks get dressed up in a variety of ways this winter. Here, Christian Dior restates two classic styles in Dacron and cotton. This window pane pattern can be dressed up or down. The new two-tone stripe with spread collar looks better than ever. These trousers are well seasoned with salt and pepper surface interest and stylish pleats, a fashion detail they share with these muted herringbone pants, both by Tivoli. Color and contrast keynote Hathaway's approach to a new era of shirting elegance. White on rust with a dash of plaid and this rounded style in rose are examples. For the young at heart, these striped slacks with self-belt, flat pocket, and chain are disco new. The muted brown herringbones are more traditional in feeling. They're both by broomsticks in No Muss, Today's Day Run. Contemporary combos for the computer age. Soft flannel slacks and a new shade of wheat. And a more serious tone of olive heather. Both pleated models are by Tivoli. Cardin Boutique adds a touch of iridescence to its latest line of winter shirtings in 80 Dacron. This style in a new shade of stone has the smallest collar yet. Elegance can be expressed in many ways. For the 80s, Pierre Cardin sees the small collar buttoned down with open neck as a breakaway from tradition, a move toward a new mood of dressing up casually. Similar sentiments can be seen in the relaxed styling of these slacks by Wildfire and John White's by Glen Oaks. Casual, contemporary, or classic, a new dress-up era is here in menswear for the 80s. Why does it always happen to me? I sneak away for a Caribbean cruise. Nobody knows where I am. With one thing in mind, suck in that salty sea spray and R-E-L-A-X. R&R in &R the world renaissance. Anyway, there I am, my tie in one hand, sun lotion in the other, and oh no, there goes my peace and quiet. It's Playboy Magazine's fashion photo team on board to shoot a big menswear layout for the summer. And where there's Playboy, there's usually... <laughs> You got it. And I'm supposed to relax? No way. 
besides, the sea air has made a new man of me. I'll just keep close tabs on this gorgeous group. Who knows, maybe I can pick up some pointers on what to wear this season. Hey, I really like that terry top. The big getaway shot takes place at the dock in Panama. Fashion editor David Platt likes the look for tailored clothes. I just might try modeling. Photographer Richard Fegley's ready now. I love that vested suit with the slubs and nubs, see? It's by Austin Reed of Regent Street. And this, this, Hart Schaffner and Marks' super sport coat of Dacron, wool and linen. No wonder she's nuts about them. Hey, can you imagine wearing clothes like this and calling it work? Now where are they going? Hey, wait for me! Off-duty, the group visits the old ruins near Panama City and checks out some postcards before a special performance by the Ballet Folklorico. Nobody ever asks me to dance. Later on nearby Condadura Island, David grabs his racket and meets model Kevin for a fast set of serve and rally. What a shot! The boss wins. Or does he? Back on board. And back to work. Where's the girls? Nicely styled. New location, new hat. Clever touch. The white safari suits by J. Mar Ruby. Right? <laughs> I know my fashion. Next up, Cartagena. This fort is in the old city. I know my forts. Rugs are a terrific buy here in Colombia. Eric, Joan, and Dick take a close look. Come to think of it, I could use a new rug. Hey, wait for me! Sunset at sea. Oh, I'm ripe for romance, and tonight's the night I make my move. During the disco shot, I'll dazzle with my footwork. He doesn't have a chance. Wait a minute. No fair! How am I supposed to compete with that blazer of today's Daycron? Come on, 50-foot waves. Maybe he'll trip and break a leg. I'll keep my patent leather pumps primed just in case. It's a beautiful day to sail into Curacao. Kathy and Kevin stroll the famous pontoon bridge. Then the show-off bobs up and down like a cork for some candid shots. Hey, isn't that our ship back there? She wouldn't laugh if I did that. I can't believe it. Why does it always happen to me? Just when I'm getting close to the Playboy crew, the cruise is over. It's not fair. We're family. Richard, David, and I. To say nothing of the rest of the gang, we don't even have to talk. In fact, we've never spoken. It's all vibrations, good vibes. That's how I knew they'd be saving one of my favorite fashions for last. Glen Eagle's fabulous draw coat in Daycron cotton. What a look with J. Morris on these slacks. Hemingway at sea. Maybe if I turn up my collar a little. There's no reason why if I drop 10 or 15 pounds, I could look just as good. That picture would be nice. to describe how I felt during my match with Ilya Nastasi at Wimbledon in 1972. Whoever won was the world's champion, so the adrenaline was really flowing. Match point was incredible. The ultimate natural high. 
Winning here was even more exciting than capturing the U.S. Open crown the year before. Walking onto the court for the first round of any major championship is a special thrill. Even after all these years and matches, the butterflies are still there. I had my hands full last year against Mike Leach. He was my opening day opponent at Flushing Meadows. And a tough one, too. You never get tired of winning, especially against a great young player like Mike. Keeping tournament tough is easier for me than for most of the guys. Even when I'm not traveling, I've got stiff competition right in the family. My wife, Margie, was a nationally ranked player before she became Mrs. Smith. She keeps me in shape on her home court here at Sea Pines Plantation. Ramsey, our four-year-old, looks like he may have picked up a few pointers from Mom. Maybe he's a southpaw in disguise. When we're home, Margie and I find that informal tennis clinics are another good way to keep in shape and review fundamentals. My new Addy Therm warm-up of Daycron helps keep me warm when there's a nip in the air. Or cool when I'm working out, like this. This is the cup, the one you get for winning at Wimbledon. I still get a thrill just thinking about it. For an American, though, the little gold ball has special significance. It means you won the U.S. Open, your own country's championship. When we're at home, our life revolves around the kids to a great extent. We love children and want a big family. Trevor's only two, but he tries hard to keep up with his older brother. They seem to love the water, beach or pool. Right now, it looks like Ramsey's more in the swim of things, so to speak. Sea Pines has miles of bike paths winding all over the plantation. We enjoy the exercise and just searching out new places we've never been before. Wherever you look, the scenery is great. Today, it seems like no matter where you go, you run into people wearing Adidas outfits. They're sporty looking and comfortable too. I guess our young friends here feel the same. I can't think of anything that's more relaxing and fun than a game of golf. Like tennis, you just keep your eye on the ball and never up, never in. Not bad for a hacker. The tenant best describes how we feel about being at home with the children. Whenever possible, we travel together as a family. It can be hectic, though, especially for Margie and the boys. But this is where our roots are, right here at Sea Pines, as pretty and peaceful and all-American a place as you can find, at least for the Smiths. Today's savvy guys know there are a few fashion rules that can't be bent or broken if done with style and taste. And with the added versatility built into the new generation of natural look performance plus fabrics, this season's clothes are more option oriented than ever. The choices are there. It's all up to you. The Scanticon Princeton, a new hotel and conference center near the famed Ivy League campus is the perfect place for the contemporary man to dress up or down in Design America styles with Dacron. Blazers and slacks like these are what most men opt to travel in. This outfit by Halston looks great with shirt and tie. Without the four in hand, these handsome separates by Stanley Blacker give our early arrival more of a casual appearance. Later, the young executives tour the grounds. The striped crew neck and button down knit shirt give their outfits a completely different look. Double-breasted styles like these seem to demand dress-up furnishings for most men. Fact is, they look equally elegant in a sophisticated, sporty way with the right knit accompaniment. The blazer is by Dimitri, 
The Suit by Christian Dior. Stripes mean serious business, or do they? The answer is yes, at least most of the time. But why not break out of the mold once in a while? These suits by Hart Schaffner and Marx and Austin Reed of Regent Street have a whole new fashion personality thanks to the casual, colorful trappings. What to wear with a plaid suit is a puzzle for most men. Here are some ideas. For the arch conservative, solid shirt and tie, safety plus. The adventurous might try a two-tone shirt and striped tie. Be careful though, the colors and patterns are critical. The more dashing daredevil will throw caution to the winds and give these classic styles with Dacron by John White a whole new look. With this season's popular town and country styles, you don't have to be a Beau Brummel to sense there's more than one way to go, fashion-wise. Color-coordinated sweaters add a different dimension to these sport coat classics by Jack Nicholas and Alan St. George. And when the mood strikes, the look can be as casual as you'd like. Design America at its best. So whether it's plaids, or stripes, double-breasted styles, or country looks. Try to avoid tunnel vision. Remember, today's menswear offers lots of fashion options. The choice is up to you.